is Christina. So I wanted to film this look for you guys, which is like a no makeup makeup look. For those of you who just want to look put together, but still very natural for like school or work, or maybe you're not allowed to wear makeup if you're like in high school or something like that, or middle school, I don't know. Or maybe you're a girl in the military and you're not supposed to wear makeup at work, but you still want to look good and presentable without it being like overly so nobody can detect it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hopefully this will help you out where you can see it still looks very natural. It doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup. You know, of course, maybe like my beauty girls out there, they can tell. But like to the everyday regular person, especially guys, you can't really tell. Especially if you're like going on like a casual date or something like that. You just want to look if you're going to like an amusement park or like a pool party. I don't know, whatever. And you just want to look put together and not like you just roll it out of bed but you don't want to look glammed up you know this is a very natural sort of look where a lot of guys probably can't even tell that you wear makeup so I feel like this could be useful to a lot of people in different situations so if you want to know how I got it then please keep watching okay so I'm starting off with no makeup whatsoever on my face and first thing I'm gonna apply is a primer you have to use a primer like it makes just it makes such a difference like it's gonna make your makeup stay a lot longer it's gonna help you know whatever it is that you need like some people have dry skin I have oily skin so this is a mattifying primer so it's just gonna help me not get oily throughout the day so we're just gonna apply this all over I normally do my makeup before my hair but I want it to look good for you guys yeah it's like that emoji girl <laughs> fab and I haven't done like a talk through tutorial in such a long time so if you want to look natural you don't really necessarily want to wear a foundation and if you're younger if you're like in high school I would not recommend using foundation because you honestly get used to it so much faster and then you just kind of can't like not use it I personally didn't wear liquid foundation until I was like 20 or like bare minerals in college and just like a powder in high school whatever but I mean if you really really need some coverage like if you have acne or something like that you know I would just do a BB or a CC cream so I will be using a CC cream today from It Cosmetics and I will be linking all the products that I'm using for you guys on my blog which will be linked down below at the top of the info box. But if you must use a foundation, I would recommend a more natural looking one. This is a really good one. This is the L'Oreal Magic Nude. I will link this as well. Or you can just use bare minerals, like a mineralized foundation. That's also good and it won't look cakey. Just got a spray tan, so I hope this is my color still. Oh my gosh, I hate when brushes do this. And they shed on your face. Yeah, I think that's a bit light. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little bit of the Magic Nude that's darker just to kind of mix it together. But let's just pretend that I'm using baby cream. Don't forget to take it down your neck so that everything matches and you don't look like you're wearing a mask. And then to really make it look natural, you want to take a damp beauty blender and just kind of stipple it in. This is gonna give your skin a lot more of a natural finish than a brush would. Now you don't have to do this step, but I am going to contour a little bit. Not anything crazy, you know, not like full glam, like red carpet sort of contour, no, just a little bit. So I'm just taking a dark concealer. I'm going to contour my nose underneath my lip. So this will slim down my nose and if you place the shadow underneath your lower lip, it makes it look fuller, which I have a tutorial on how to make your lips look fuller. I'm taking a lighter concealer and just sort of buffing that dark line in a lighter brown concealer not like a light a concealer you can just contour with powders but I feel like if you do the cream contour underneath it's just gonna stay a lot longer and if the powder like melts away or whatever during the day then you're still gonna have your cream underneath so as you can see I only placed a little bit it wasn't like crazy crazy contour So this will give your face some natural shadows and definition, but it's not like full glam, you know? I'm going to use some concealer underneath my eyes. So I'm applying it in like a triangle underneath the eye, not like right underneath it because you don't want to look like a raccoon. And as you can see, the shade I'm using is pretty close to the foundation. I'm not doing like the whole like white and black sort of contour and highlight look, you know, not anything crazy. I just wanted a bit more coverage underneath the eyes. Then I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and set everything in place. I love this powder. It really does look really, really natural in person. Because you can put anything on camera and make it look good. But like, 
you can be cake faced whatever but in person it looks horrible this is really like a natural natural finish like that not too much because you don't want to look too powdered too cakey you still want to have like a little bit of a dewy glow and now if you want you can go into a powder highlight and contour kit I'm gonna use a powder that's a little bit lighter than my tone and put that underneath the eyes to kind of highlight but it's not like crazy crazy highlight and then on the t-zone then I'm gonna take some of these dark colors to contour again you don't have to do the contour and highlight thing you know if you're pressed for time it's just kind of like an extra step and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the nose gonna blend that in so now I'm gonna take this tart blush and apply some of that but as you can see it's very natural it's almost like a bronzer color it's nothing like pink or red or anything like that this is just gonna warm up the face a tiny bit so you have like that natural glow like that. Okay, moving on to the brows. I'm going to be using this Julep little eyebrow gel. So because it does have a brush, I feel like it looks more natural than if you were to go in with the pencil because it's a little bit more harsh. I mean, I guess it depends how you apply it or how much you apply it, but I feel like this one is a lot more natural. So I'm just following my natural arch. Nothing crazy. I'm not going to go in with like the concealer underneath or anything like that. Just just fill in the brows, like the sparse areas. You want to make sure to brush them out so that it looks a lot more natural. You don't see any lines of the product like that. And you can even go into like a wax and set the brows because it's going to give them like a more shiny kind of finish. And it's going to set them, of course, so they stay in place. But it's also going to give them a bit of a finish that looks more natural, especially if you're using powder. You don't want your eyebrows to look powdered. So I don't know if you can tell, but in person it looks a lot more natural now. Now you can just do mascara and be done, but if you do want to add a bit of like a definition to your eyes, we're going to apply some eyeshadows, but first you want to prime your eyelids so that way our shadows don't crease. You can even see like the bottom of my romper, like it's red. All you can see is white. Like, what? I don't know. I'm trying to, like, be closer for you guys. Whatever. Okay, so you want to use all matte eyeshadows because, naturally, you don't have shimmer all over your eyelid. So, to create the illusion of a highlight and a definition in the crease, we're going to use matte shadows, but make it look natural. So, I'm going to take this highlight. And, by the way, this palette I made, it's from Buxom, but you can custom make these little palettes like the colors come out and if you saw my buxom and bam reynolds haul video i showed you guys all the colors that i got i got a whole bunch of individual little eyeshadows as well as a few palettes so i just kind of took the individual ones and made this palette so you know i just kind of made it so it didn't come like this but i will link some buxom eyeshadow palettes for you guys so i'm just gonna take this matte cream sort of ivory color and i'm gonna use it as a highlight underneath the brow and take that into the inner corner. Like I said, it's not gonna be super dramatic, of course, because we wanna look natural, so probably on camera it looks like I'm putting nothing on, but I promise in person you can see it. Then I'm gonna take this sort of peachy burnt color and just place it all over the lid and bottom lash line so it matches. We're only doing three colors. So finally, I'm going to take this sort of taupe color, just a tiny bit, and we're going to use it to define the crease. Just a tiny bit. Like that. And let me know if you guys prefer these sort of talk-through tutorials or the ones where I speed it up and do a voiceover. So, Because these ones are a lot easier for me to do, but they might be like a little bit longer, so I don't know. Now we're going to curl our lashes. And I'm going to use this Lash Domination Mascara. Like I said, I will link everything for you guys. I like it because it looks really natural. So you can just leave the eyes like this if you want the more natural sort of eyelash look. But if you want to be a little bit more dramatic, you can add a second coat of a more dramatic mascara, which I'm using my telescopic one. 
so it's really up to you so it's really up to you I just like the really really long lashes but then you can tell that it's mascara you know and if you don't want people to see that you have mascara on you can just put like one layer on like one coat and then brush them through with a spoolie and get like the excess off but they're still gonna be a little bit defined and dark just gonna curl them again so here's a little trick so you can take a black pencil and tight line which means you're gonna put it on your upper waterline and you're not gonna like directly see it but it's gonna give you the effect of fuller lashes without anyone seeing the eyeliner so here I'll show you so this eye I've done and this one I haven't you see how it makes my lashes look a little bit fuller it's like a black line but it's not obvious like it's not like I'm wearing eyeliner you can't really see it but little trick and that is it we can do the lips now but if you want a little bit of an extra step you can highlight but make sure it's very like natural not like oh my god you know in your face so I'm just going to take this cream highlighter and apply it right there. So it's going to give you like a hint of glow like where the sunlight hits you. It's going to look really pretty but it's a cream highlight. It's not shimmery so you see how it just reflects really prettily but it's not like oh my gosh ever done. I'm going to highlight my cupid's bow. And you can also take a little bit of highlight the tip of your nose for like that little button nose effect. Now for the lips, I couldn't figure out which combination of pencils I wanted to use, but I know I want to do a matte look, just like a pencil all over the lip. Nothing too crazy like lipstick or gloss or anything like that. So I think I'm just going to mix a few. So first I'm going to take this dark brown one. And I'm not filling everything in, just like a little bit. Then I'm going to take this nude one and go over it. Like that. I think that looks pretty natural, right? It's not like too pinky or too nude or too dark, so I think that's good. We can make it a little bit more pinky. I feel like I'm getting washed out, but... So this is a third pencil, and I will link all of them for you guys. Basically, just find a lip pencil that matches your natural sort of lip. You know, you don't want to go too dark or too light, so just find whatever suits you best. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. Please a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my links. Everything will be listed on my blog, like all the products and everything. So I will link that at the top of the info box down below. And I will also link my Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, everything like that if you want to add me. And if you have any questions about like what I'm wearing or anything like that, everything will be on my blog as well. So check that out. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. It's like this lacy top and it's backless. It's really, really sexy. I actually did an outfit of the day with that red one. So I really liked it and I wanted just to try it out in a different color. So let me look through my orders real quick.